distinguished audience, organizers, and guests. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and thank you for being with us today. Over the coming days, we'll be holding a number of significant events which will surely keep you, digital experts, engaged. We are starting here and now with this year Semantic Interoperability Conference in this grand hotel with excellent views. Then tomorrow and Friday, we have the Digital Assembly, which will be held at the Mediterranean Conference Center, a 16th century building which is at heart of our history. We are proud that Malta is currently holding the presidency of the Council of Ministers of the European Union, during which Malta has addressed various files, including important ones relating to the digital economy, not least of which is the end of roaming charges, which we will be celebrating tomorrow. As the new parliamentary secretary responsible for the digital economy, not least of which, as we said, um, uh, even the responsibility of this conference today, I wish to thank my predecessors for their incessant efforts and great vision that as a nation we have upheld. Our achievements and our contribution to a European digital single market speaks volumes. My government is committed to continue to spearhead in the digital sphere. Our national digital strategy, which the Prime Minister has launched in March 2014, sets a vision for Malta to prosper by 2020 as a digitally enabled nation in all sectors of society and at every stage at personal person's life experience. The strategy sets out policy direction on the adoption of digital means within three major areas, being civil society, business, and government, which enabled through a proper legislation, infrastructure, and human capital can continue to take us forward. In line with EU and international priorities and trends, we have taken various measures to upskill our citizens, to enhance our digital infrastructures, to encourage digital innovation and entrepreneurship. The summit conference today is part of the Commission's ISA program, which sets the mantra of implementing IT solutions for less bureaucracy. As Malta, we have taken measures to achieve a more citizen and business-centric government. Efficient public administration, which um, obviously these measures will bring, bring forward less bu bureaucracy in Malta. I will not delve into details, but I will just mention two typical initiatives. In November 2016, we launched, the, we launched a government mobile strategy. And then in March 2017, a number of public services were made available for access from mobile. This is enabling us to employ innovative approaches towards the design and delivery of better public service to satisfy the needs and demands of citizens and business anytime and anywhere. We understand that digital technology is also bringing challenges and specifically in today's interconnected digital world, cybersecurity is of critical importance. In September 2016, the National Cybersecurity Strategy was published which we are currently implementing with the ultimate objective being increased awareness among citizens on cyber-related pitfalls and the measures to be taken. Also, another objective of this strategy is cyber preparedness and resilience among businesses. The theme chosen for this year's edition is data and information management. A key fundamental layer on which hinges the success or otherwise of the digital economy is data, which is the main topic today. 
data is widely considered as the fuel of the economy and possibly a new freedom which, together with our four fundamental freedoms, is essential towards the achievement of the objectives of the digital single market. As Malta, we are establishing a holistic plan to the management of data as an enterprise asset. Opening up of non-sensitive data will be fundamental to achieve open government and more economic growth. Our national data strategy, which is currently in an advanced stage of technical consultation, is designed to harness this new power for the digitalization of processes. It can be the engine room for a new modus operandi for the public administration, automated systems, and processes. Interoperability is the fulcrum for both local and cross-border use of services and data. Likewise, are the removal of legal and political barriers on which the free flow of data depends. The use of core vocabularies underpin, underpinning the base registry, namely the person, the location, and the organization, together with agreed definitions and related semantics, are critical for standardization and coherence across local government and EU member states. Malta is currently proposing a system of linked official registers which can serve as the foundation layer on which the main platforms for data reuse and simplification of processes can be built. These are imperatives prerequisites to achieve the benefits of the once only principle and our ultimate objective of personalized and end-to-end -end public services. We firmly believe and that although there is a legacy of systems which can make this implementation more challenging, there are various ways and means of how this can be achieved in gradual, non-invasive and incremental approach. I have briefly highlighted some of the current and new initiatives we are focusing on to further enable a digital economy. Now I invite you so that over the rest of the day and the forthcoming two days, you engage and debate these important perspectives. Lastly, I wish all of you here a pleasant stay and hope you have some free time so that you can enjoy our magnificent island and beautiful island full of rich history and culture. Obviously, also, um, I invite you to take the opportunity to visit our attractive beaches as well, which I, I think you will definitely enjoy. Also, some traditional food and most of all, our magnificent weather. In Selmilkom and grazie.